Arsenal already have fantastic talent in their academy. The likes of Lewis Skelly, Ethan Wanieri, Chidi Obi Martin have all been hitting the headlines recently. Even Mika Birif, out on loan, is playing at a ridiculously high level. But what if I told you Arsenal have an even better talent who is just 14 years of age? Before I tell you about this generational talent, if you're new here, please smash the subscribe button, hit that like button and turn on notifications to never miss a video like this. Well, without further ado, that player who is absolutely generational is Max Dalman. Max Dalman is a 14 year old midfielder who became the youngest ever player to play for the under 18s at just 13 years old. He is incredible and is already a regular for England under 16s. Many people in football that have watched him and analysed him week in week out say so he's very similar in terms of play style with Phil Foden and Jack Wilshere. Players that can receive the ball and glide past their opponents like they're not even there. Arsenal fans, I'm sure you know how good Jack Wilshere was when he was bursting onto the scene. He took Xavi, Iniesta and Messi to the cleaners in the Champions League. Born in 2009, Max made his first start for the under 18s today. He recorded four assists, which is ridiculous. Most of which were given to Arsenal striker Chidi Obi Martin, who himself is a top, top player. The fact that Max hasn't even hit his physical peak yet, but is dominating players four years older than him is just so, so special. Many scouts in the scene and many of the academy people have said Max is one of the best 14 year olds they have ever seen in academy football. Even better than the likes of Jude Bellingham and Kobe Mainu when they were his age. Max Dalman is so good that he already has a brand deal with Adidas, which is insane for a 14 year old. He even makes the older players in and around him better. He carries the responsibility, collecting the ball, blitzing past players like they're not even there. And he has that final ball too. It's like you're not even watching somebody that is just 14 years old. He has played just one game for the under 18s this season, but he has managed to get three goals and three assists this season. And in the three games he's been involved in for the under 18s, they have scored 10 goals and won all three of them games. He quite simply is a generational talent that can probably fit into most starting 11s in the under 23s, which is a massive step up. It would not even be a surprise to see Max train with the Arsenal first team very soon. It is also very fitting that Jack Wilshere was the player that gave Max Dalman his debut in the under 18s scene. Jack has done a brilliant job with the under 18s and it's such a shame his career was hampered through injuries. But the way he speaks about his young talents and has them playing is just wonderful to see. A top, top individual and it's just great to see that our academy is now being put as a priority. Since our first team is now kind of hitting the levels we've always wanted it to hit, challenging for titles. It's important you have a good academy that has players that will have the quality to potentially play for the first team week in, week out. If you haven't noticed, there's been a lot of news and transfer deals being done for Academy right now. And that's because we've finally hit stage five of our Tetas rebuild, where we are now investing in the youth so that we can build a dynasty similar to Manchester City, who when they started to challenge for titles every single season, started looking into their youth academy system, buying the best crop of talent from all over the world. Braden Clark and Cledak O'Neill are two signings Arsenal have made for the academy in the past few weeks. They are fantastic talents, especially Braden Clark, who was signed from Wolves and was one of their best academy players. A lot of the Wolves fans and also those in the Wolves scene were very disappointed to see him go. But for us, it was a massive pickup. Anyway, back to Max Downman, who has already got a brand deal with Adidas at just 14 years old. Adidas just don't go out and sign anybody to represent them, let alone a 14 year old. That just should show you guys how good this lad is. I think a clip that shows his quality so, so well is this one for England under 16. 
in red is max Darman. look at the way he's scanning the pitch looking for areas where he can find space and has his eye on the ball constantly and now look at him in between the lines receives the ball look at that tight control to get past the defenders and the brilliant dribbling so so good that may remind you of phil foden and jack wilshire when they were bursting onto the scene it's the sort of technical ability you can't teach to any sort of player you either have it or you don't and even though it doesn't end up in a goal you can see that this will translate into senior football very very easily you've already seen kobe Mainu, who's so so technically good glides across the pitch finds areas where he's going to be unmarked and can then play a beautiful next pass max dalman has that ability it's just a shame for our youngsters that play in that midfield area that we're stacked in that position we've got martin ogdegaard fabio vieira smith throw kai havertz can play there declan reich Jorginho, Partey. there's little room to chuck in a youngster to build up their minutes even Ethan Wanieri who's had the opportunity to play this season probably would have played more if we weren't stacked in that area. Mikel Arteta has to think about our senior players before he can consider our youngsters to come onto the pitch. So for the Arsenal fans that are impatient and thinking why doesn't Arteta throw these young lads in we've got to consider the squad and the areas in which we're stacked already. It wouldn't be fair to the likes of Fabio Vieira and Smith Rowe to have their minutes taken away from youngsters at this stage. We need our senior players, especially when we're going for their major honours, where there is zero margin for error. There is no point putting unnecessary pressure on our young talent. You may look to the likes of Manchester United and Liverpool with the amount of youngsters they're chucking in, but in Manchester United's case, the reason they're able to put in the likes of Kobe Mainu is because their senior players aren't stepping up. It's similar to when we bought in Bukayo Saka from the academy. It's because the quality in our squad just wasn't good enough. So we had to trust our youngsters. And that's similar to Liverpool who haven't got a lot of depth. So they have to look into their academy to help them. We must also be sensible with injuries, which are a massive thing in academy football. Many youngsters' careers are ruined because they were either chucked into senior football too quickly or they were just totally mismanaged by the manager both in the academy and also the first team. Pep Guardiola is somebody who's managed his youngsters very well. The likes of Phil Foden are only just now starting to play regularly. Even when we as outsiders thought he should have been playing a lot earlier, Guardiola knew that to get the best out of Phil Foden and to ensure he doesn't get injuries, he has to be on the bench. And that's what he's doing with Oscar Bob as well. So to conclude this video, I just want to say one thing. Max Dalman, remember the name.